I speak truly. The body is composed of water, earth, and air. The sacred fire burns and smolders inside your cells and aetheric bodies that your science has yet to define. Water is more than the liquids that compose your cells and blood. It is the energy of being able to make motion and respond to change. Earth is more than the minerals and chemicals that compose your organs and bones. It is the energy solidified to support your needs as a sure and fertile foundation. Air is more than the gases that aerate your blood. It is the energy that encapsulates concepts and interweaves them with your being. And the sacred fire resides in every atom of your being, in every iota of your anam, and sustains and creates you in every moment. But of this verse, a harpist will speak in detail with you later on. The body, being made of water, you should keep clean water in it. Neither should you pollute it overmuch with intoxicants. Not only of those intoxicants made of this world, but of the things that will poison your ability to respond to change. Thus, anything that hardens the emotions, like your empathy, or causes you distress must be handled with care. These things must be identified, isolated, altered to serve your being, repaired, and then reintegrated into your being. Beware of any technique you hear about excising some part of your being. I will explain why later, and you should spend time in those things that bring you a sense of ease and comfort. The body being made of earth, you should keep the goodly gifts of the earth in it. You should eat the proper amount and kinds of food to keep your body in good health. But this is more than just the food of this world. You must be sure to only be performing practices that produce an effect, and do not allow yourself to become sterile in your living. Thus avoid anything that causes your body harm or limits its exercise, such as slothful habits. Nor should you overcommit yourself and thus be unable to support all your obligations. Keep a space and time private to yourself your own secret shrine, a private clearing in the woods. The body, being made of air, you should cycle the air that is in it. You should breathe deeply and slowly, with care and with concentration. Quarter hour a day is the minimum you need to maintain yourself, and an hour a day is best for your progress. While breathing, take time to reflect. While breathing, take time to concentrate. While breathing, take time to learn. Thus, you should take the time to listen to the wise, read their words and memorize their lessons, and in all to which you are exposed, and in all that you experience, you should keep your own record of experiments and results. Revisit your writings and compare them to what you experience, and see if the results still prove true and beneficial. Tell your experience to others and compare, weigh, and refine. Do not turn away from the voice that disagrees. The sacred fire dwells in those parts of your body that are immaterial, and if you do the above faithfully and truly, you shall keep it burning, clean, and eternally. Later we shall speak of how to purify your fire and restore it if it should suffer impurity or loss.